This week's vlog is coming to you from the Loire Valley. Now it is going to be a short vlog this week as I don't have that much time on my hands at the moment. There's quite a lot going on which is why there hasn't been many vlogs as of late but uh, that's how life goes. Now speaking of those vlogs that I'd mentioned a few weeks ago, whatever happened to them? Well, Burgundy, I was supposed to go to Burgundy but unfortunately the weather as always gets in the way and it was raining the day I was going to go to Burgundy and I didn't really want to drive that two and a half hours just to go and do a vlog and it's just wall to wall rain. The week after that I was in the Dolomites in Italy and again the weather was a factor so I was supposed to be there for eight days with another photographer. We had one day of extraordinary, extraordinarily beautiful weather, it was really nice and then for the rest of the time it was rubbish. So we decamped and went to Tuscany. Why was I in the Dolomites in Tuscany? Obviously they are beautiful places to go to but uh, I was there with another photographer as we are working on doing a series of workshops next year in Provence, Tuscany and hopefully the Dolomites, we don't know yet, that's uh, to be decided but uh, I'll explain more of that over the coming weeks or so. But uh, here this morning, as you can see behind me, there is the Chateau de Chenonceau. It is dawn. I've got something already in the bag, so I'm quite happy with that. But uh, what I'll do now is I'll just explain what it is that I'm up to here at the front of the Chateau de Chenonceau. This is how I've set up my camera looking towards the Chateau de Chenonceau. Now, I don't want to get my uh, GoPro too close to my other camera just because it's pointed very precariously on the edge of the river here and I don't want my uh, my beloved 60 to just fall in the river uh, and also with the 24 mil tilt shift on the front so it would be a, uh, an expensive drop if that did happen so what I'm what I've done here is uh, as I was explaining before I'm going to do an exposure blend so I've got a couple of exposures in the bag now earlier on there was a, a bit more color than there is in the sky at the moment it's uh, probably I guess the best of it's gone um, but with a polarizer on the front, there's quite a nice blue that's coming through. So uh, I've taken two exposures. Um, but this is how, I'll just give you a quick idea of if you do ever come to the Chateau de Chenon. So this path here that I'm on is actually part of the, I believe it's part of the Loire à Velo. So it's a cycle path that follows the Cher and the Loire um, right, over, right out to the sea near Nantes. Um, and that's basically the fantastic path you can come down just because you can get here at any time of the day, you don't have to pay any entrance fee and you've got this amazing chateau in front of you. I've come to the other side of the Chateau de Chenonceau and I, I've come this side because as I explained sunrise is over there and it's at the moment when it's uh, the sun is rising it's essentially arriving rising straight down the river Cher and then it hits the facade of the chateau so today is the uh, the 16th of May so around this sort of time if you come here then you should get the sunrise hitting the facade of the chateau now fortunately there's a bank of cloud over there which is hiding the sun at the moment but I did manage to get here just in time and get the the sun on the facade of the chateau so I'm very happy with that I had got an exposure of about uh, two and a half seconds so I added a neutral density filter on the front just to smooth out the water just a little bit just to give it a nice kind of reflection in the water without it being too choppy. Um, what else can I say? Well I've stuck with my Canon 6D and there's the 24mm Canon 24mm Mark II tilt shift on the front still keeping everything bolt upright. Uh, composition wise if you ever do come along here something you'll find you're fighting against is trying to not include the path that you have here that I'm, uh, that I'm knelt on at the moment and also there's some overhanging trees they're a bit of a pain there's not much you can do about it but it is still possible to get some nice images here so if you're ever in the Loire Valley do come down to this path that comes alongside the Chateau de Chenonceau. I've finished at Chenonceau and I've come to a village here in the middle of France called Chedigny and this village is famous for its festival of roses which is going to be happening in a couple of weeks time at the end of May. If you do come here it's 
absolutely beautiful little village just to come down. You walk down the main street and the smell from the roses is absolutely sublime. It's just beautiful. And I think there's about four gardeners, four or five gardeners that take care of all the roses in the village. And the story that I've heard is they were fed up with the village looking really kind of drab. So they applied for some money from uh, government or wherever it was. They buried all the power lines and things like this. And they planted all these roses around the village, around the houses. So they've, they're training them up around the windows and stuff. So it's an absolutely beautiful place to come to in the end of May, see all the roses around all the houses. So it's very worthwhile to come here to the village of Shedini. I thought I'd just give you a quick idea of uh, some of the house facades here in Shedini. So you can see behind me, a lovely old house and it's just surrounded by roses. Now it is the wrong time of day really to be looking at this particular facade as the sun is actually over there. But um, I, I don't mind the, the flat light, it actually brings things out quite nicely. Because here in the Loire Valley with the white stone, sometimes too much sunlight can be quite, uh, it's just too overbearing for the camera. But here you go, this is uh, one of the typical house facades that we have here in Shedini. This evening I'm here in the city of Amboise, or just outside I should say. About an hour or so ago I was in the city itself and I was able to get the setting sun lighting up the chateau across the River Loire with the reflection of the chateau into the Loire itself. As, uh, there was some wind earlier on which has actually calmed down quite nicely so I was able to get that reflection. Now I've come outside of town because there's another viewpoint of the chateau from the side of the road so there's somewhere that you can pull in and get this uh, long lens shot from the side of the road looking to the Chateau of Amboise itself. The Chateau is known for having the remains of Leonardo da Vinci inside, although if memory serves they're not quite sure if it is definitely him or not, but uh, that's uh, one of those stories that you pick up from, when you, from where you live here. Now, what I am going to say is I've done quite a few photos already. I know I haven't shown the actual sequence as to what it is that I've been doing and everything everything that's been set up. Uh, what I am going to tell you is at the moment I've got my Canon 60 with the 70 to 200 mil lens pointed towards the chateau over there and earlier on I had my Canon 17 to 40 doing the reflection shots and also my Canon 1.4 with the 24 mil uh, lens on it to be able to do the uh, to do a panorama that I did so what I am going to say for now is thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed over the last few weeks or so thank you to all of those um, people that all have already subscribed there's possibly a vlog coming up in the next week or so from the area of Sologna where I'll be staying um, the latter half of next week so until then thanks again and see you again soon